I'm here today uh, sitting for Andrew, who's a sculptor, who has graciously uh, offered the, me the opportunity of having a sculpture made of me. Um, so I'm going to be bronzed up in a few months' time. Uh, I've been measured in great detail, and I've been talking to Andrew about the kind of things he might wish to incorporate in my sculpture, because he's going to include elements that uh, are important in my life. So uh, I can't wait to see how it comes out. Now, as a former Doctor Who, we've seen you uh, as plastic figurines, we've seen you in all kinds of, of different models. This is the first time that you've been uh, as a bronze bust. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, in my multicoloured coat, I have been uh, uh, figures which children love. That's the joy. They, they like my one because it's very colourful. <laughs> I thought that colourful coat must have a purpose one day, and it did. Um, so, yes, I've got all sorts of images of my, myself as the Doctor at home, but this will be my first... Uh, proper sculpture and I've just been admiring Andrew's work in there he's he really is a very talented man I'm, and he's sculpted some amazing people so uh, I'm quite honoured to be in that pantheon. Have you any idea what to expect because b being in bronze can be a very different <coughs> product than perhaps some of what you've been uh, cast as before Yeah I mean most of the stuff I've got of me already as Doctor Who are very representational it's you know that uh, by definition a sculpture is going to be a piece of art so I know it's not going to be a slavish reproduction of me and I'm delighted about that um, I, I like the idea that this is going to be someone's impression of me and of course you're fundraising uh, locally and uh, you are a, a local boy of course yep I, I live in uh, just outside Wickham near Marlow um, so and I've been writing for the Bucks Free Press that wonderful newspaper for the last 17 years um, so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm very local I'm involved locally to see today. What, uh, what have you made of uh, what you've seen inside of some of the other work of, of Andrew's? I've, I've seen some of Andrew's work and pictures of some of his work in there and I'm very, very impressed. I mean, I think sculpture is, a, is a, an art which is underappreciated because we can all hang uh, pictures on our wall that we like or reproductions of them, but sculpture is so kind of tactile and three-dimensional and it doesn't probably fit into most homes. It's only the rich and the powerful who've who've enabled sculptors to have a living in the past, and um, most of us now don't live those kind of lives. So suddenly to be involved in a world where that can happen is quite exciting. I'm looking forward to it.